think back when he played with Jay Wright, that's the style. Push the basketball up the floor and look to score quick. Botnikoff looked a little shaken up there. They're going to call an official's timeout. And we'll step out and find out more about it in just a moment. Hot start for Hofstra. Four minutes into this game, and it's the defense getting it done. 10-3. We'll be right back here on Flow Hoops. Hi, I'm Chris, and I'm here to talk about Island Federal Credit Union. And I'm Bob from National Big Bank. Island Federal has been providing personal banking services for over 65 years and donated over a million dollars to Long Island-based charities. Nobody loves Long Island more than National Big Bank. We're fully committed to Patch Hout, Hop Hout, uh, Wan Chung, uh, Ronco, Renair, no, okay, no wait, that's not real, you're messing with me now. Island Federal, you can bank on the power of F. Welcome to Buy Cal Chevy of Valley Stream, a family-owned dealership dedicated to providing an exceptional car buying experience. Our knowledgeable and friendly staff are committed to building strong customer relationships and ensuring your needs are met efficiently. We understand that your time is precious, so we've streamlined our process to make your visit efficient and enjoyable. Come visit us today at 709 West Merrick Road, Valley Stream, New York. In the next 30 seconds, a lot will happen at Hofstra. Small things, big things, weird things. The plan and the not so much. The whoa, the wow, the what? We know ideas have the power to change everything. That's why we work for them. Reach for them, refine and rebuild. Ideas are always evolving and so are we. Hofstra University. Hot start for Hofstra. Four of their first seven from the floor, and they lead by seven. Dan Severino, Scott Green here from the MAC on this Thursday night of CAA action. And Scott, when you're a group like Hofstra, you drop two really tough games. You're down huge against Hampton here at home last week, and then you come back in that contest. And it's kind of trying to show now what this group really is about and how this team really can kind of form to being one of the powers in the CAA once again. Well, you know what I like about Hofstra and their coaching staff is they know how to teach kids how to be resilient and, you know, how to get yourself back up when you're down. And, and that builds confidence. And once a team plays with confidence, you've got a good squad on hand. Seven on the shot clock. Here's Low with the runner with the left hand. No. Fritz loses the ball after the rebound. And Hofstra still maintains control. Thomas, good pass to Bryce Washington, who just came on. And he's short in his three. Plotnikoff went out at that last media timeout. And has been in the starting lineup for three straight. Three ball, nothing but net. There's Gabe Dorsey. Uh, Gabe Dorsey, we talked about him in the open and his ability to knock down the three. And that one was from three feet beyond the three-point line. Such a good three-point shooter. Last year was fourth in the entire country in three-point percentage. And when these teams met in the regular season last year before he got hurt, he dropped 21 on them on seven threes. You know, when you're six foot six and you could step outside and knock down a shot like that, Case really does a good job setting up Dorsey. And Dorsey, as a lefty, when, when you're a lefty, you have this ability to get a lot of shots off because most defenders are guarding for a righty. As you saw, the replay is brought to you there by the Lantec Group. 20 on the shot clock. Hofstra inbounds the basketball. They get to Dubar from the left block. No good. Fritz there for an offensive board once again. Tyler Thomas for three. It's short. Thomas has actually struggled on the three-point attempts despite leading the nation in three-point field goals made per game. But over the CAA slate alone, the last six games, shooting just 26% there. Yeah, I mean, you know, you got to get that groove going again. And, you know, it's, it's like a, a hitter in baseball, you know, when you're trying to get that swing back, we're wondering when that next hit's going to come. Now just three points in the first half against Stony Brook Monday and eight in the second. For another double-figure game, the seventh leading scorer in the nation. No good from Case. 
Coming off a three-point game. Lair last time out. Fritz makes the extra pass, and Washington just misses on the attempt at the right block. Here's Trey Moss. Out. Rattles out. Coming off his six-point game. D2 transfer from Florida Tech. And this is what William & Mary has struggled with this season, is their three-point shooting. And, you know, they haven't been able to get that groove going. That's a great high-low and perfectly set up for Dubar. Yako Fritz with the helper. Something he has done a bunch as of late. Had four assists on Monday night. For the big six-foot-ten forward from Netherlands. Trey Moss. Down six. Puts it on the deck. Out with five. Drives to the basket against Fritz. Lots of contact, no foul. And now Hofstra can run. Carlos. Dubar thought about it. Inside, Fritz. And it's still plenty of time here. He'll post up Dubar. On ISO him, takes it to the basket, and the runner goes. Uh, Dubar is showing why he has been phenomenal over the last few games. So tough to guard at his size. He is very versatile. And, you know, he could either hurt you from the outside or the inside. Just had his fifth 20.10 rebound game of the season. When he dropped 30 and 11. Their last contest. Eight on the timer, Fritz reaching in. Hamilton still controls, long three-pointer on its way from Caleb Dorsey, the older brother. He misses in an offensive board. Out, guarded on by Washington with seven on the shot clock. Case against Thomas, down the left lane, makes the extra pass and out of bounds. Some of these Hofstra sets are tremendous. When you can get a big to seal off on the block on the inside, you throw it to the big guy and let him finish. Pride will sub out Yako Fritz. Plotnikoff back on. Dubar takes a seat too, so it's Silas Sunday who will be at the pivot. The big seven footer out of Ireland. Thomas looking for his first points. Plotnikov instead, back to Thomas. Three ball, no good again. Tyler Thomas, oh, his first four. Caleb Dorsey. And a traveling violation. So the three ball not falling for Tyler Thomas, but the defense getting going for Hofstra. They're up 14-6. Still plenty of time remaining in this one.
14-6 with under 12 minutes to play here in the first. The Tribe coming in at 7-12 overall, Scott. Two and four inside the conference. And Dane Fisher bringing in some good pieces to this group. That's a team that they're still trying to get kind of their identity going at this point, despite being two games below 500. And, you know, and just early on, they really they run some nice sets. They're just not, they struggle to put the ball in the basket. And that's what they've been doing this year. They're, they're having a tough time on the road. They're only one in seven on the road. So, you know, you come to a place like Hofstra. Hofstra, you know, the old saying, there's no place like home, has a terrific record over the last seven years just playing here at the Max Sports Complex. So you put those two in combination, you know, your margin for error is very slim. Pride, excuse me, the Tribe, I should say, have lost their last three, 64 points per game during those losses, shooting just 37% and turning over the basketball 12 times. And that is a tough start for them. But two for six from downtown. Hofstra, though, only one of seven from beyond the perimeter. Top 10 team in the nation in three-point field goals made. Dubar back in the lineup. So is Keyjohn Robinson, who makes his first appearance. The freshman out of Florida. Well, they have real high hopes for. Carlos to the cup, denied by Caleb Dorsey and picked up by the Tribe. Chase low the other way. Dorsey, and this is off his knee. A good call there by German Plotnikov who called it right away, and the officials agreed. And yeah, this is a good referee crew. They, uh, they've worked together for a long time. John Gaffney. Brent Hampton and Mike Palo are three guys in the stripes as Dubar for three, nothing but net. Uh, you got to decide how you're going to guard Dubar. You know, if you don't come out and get him, he's going to hit that shot. And if you do come out and get him, he's going to get you inside and post you up. Skip pass. Dorsey, no look underneath, low. One extra pass and off the hands of Carlos, he'll stay with William & Mary. And this is just a great job, and, and really setting that up was Jaquan Carlos drawing the defender and then hitting the open Dubar. And Scott, it's not often you see a guy who is top five in the conference in points, rebounds, and in addition, three-point three field goals made. It, yeah. It's really impressive. Uh, that's a special player. Been a Swiss Army knife for Hofstra this year on both ends of the floor. Another offensive rebound. They're going to get a foul on the floor against Plotnikov. I really like Hofstra's defensive rotations. They're not allowing any dribble drive penetration. They're closing the gaps. They're moving their feet. What I love about their defense is the communication. You can watch them talk and communicate where the screens are, and that's something so hard to teach. Williams to the basket against Silas Sunday, but he comes up short. One of his first five from the floor is Charlie Williams. Neither team shooting particularly great. And after shooting 43%, that compares to 15% on the visiting end. 10 on the timer. Here's Robinson. Misses from the left wing. A little Dorsey to Dorsey action, two brothers. Played together at the Hill School. And they're able to get Caleb to transfer from Penn State to join his brother here at William & Mary. Here's Gabe Dorsey, too strong on the three. And Moss was not the last one to touch it. It was Hofstra. Fritz and Thomas back on. Something that this coaching staff said, Scott, was that they needed to start resting a little bit more some of their starters, giving them maybe too many minutes, getting a little more depth there, and you're seeing that a lot more tonight. Yeah, on the season, you got guys like Thomas playing 37 minutes a game, Dubar playing 34 minutes, Carlos playing 34 minutes, and then it's a drop off to Fritz and Washington, both playing 23 minutes. So that is a lot, you know, getting up and down the floor in the style that they play. You get Plotnikov here on the block. Try to establish that position. 
know, it's where you have half the crowd saying, no, no, that was a charge. Yeah, that, you know, it's establishing that position early. And that's a big one for Hofstra. Got to send him to the bench with two personal fouls. Has made a big difference since he's been in the starting lineup. Averaging nine a game during his starts, the last two. So Washington replaces him. Ball knocked away. Yako Fritz. Here comes Bryce off the bench and slams it home. Bryce Washington coming off the bench and showing his athleticism. You know, you, you think he's a lot taller. He's six foot four, but boy, he can rise. Played four years at Penn before transferring here for his graduate years in the blue and gold. Dorsey. Three ball wide open straight away. He doesn't miss those very often. And he loves that top area. You know, when you get a guy in his comfort zone, you know, look out. Uh, the deficit back to 10. Now, Hofstra would love to get Tyler Thomas going. Screen set by Fritz. Let's get the skip pass. Bryce to the rack. Bryce is nice. 21-9. And the Pride with another big bucket. And that's what you want from your bench players, to come off the bench cold and make the moves and start to be that spark plug for your squad. Well, another big one for Bryce Washington, doing in tons of different ways. This one with the two hands, and Hofstra is up by 12. In the next 30 seconds, a lot will happen at Hofstra. Small things, big things, weird things. The plan and the not so much. The whoa, the wow, the what? We know ideas have the power to change everything. That's why we work for them, reach for them, refine and rebuild. Ideas are always evolving and so are we. Hofstra University. Transfer to Hofstra University for a dynamic college experience. Shape your own educational and career path by choosing from over 165 undergraduate programs in a variety of disciplines. Connect with the world through experiential learning, including internship opportunities in nearby Manhattan. Work in cutting edge facilities and research labs. Attend a virtual transfer event to find out how you can be part of the Hofstra Pride. Brooklyn Dip and Burger is open for takeout and delivery. Call the store and check us out on Uber Eats, DoorDash, and Grubhub. We are here for you, and you can rely on Brooklyn Dip and Burger, providing great food safely. 516-222-8000. Hofstra up 21-9, 8-21 to play here in this opening frame. Scott, uh, the bench has always been kind of the big story for Hofstra, the fact that they're only averaging 10 points per game off the bench, which is towards the bottom of the nation in terms of stats. But when you get guys like Bryce Washington doing this, it helps. Yeah, and I mean, he's been in the game for, what, a minute now? And, and he gets a nice drive to the basket, and then he gets the breakaway, really showing his athleticism. That is what gives you a lift. When a coach puts a sub into a game, he always tells them, listen, this is your time to earn more minutes, and this is your time to keep the momentum going on the floor. And uh, you, you gotta love a guy like Bryce Washington. Bryce started the first 17 games, then went to the bench the last three now. This is a crazy stat from Jerry Beach of Defiantly Dutch. Hofstra is 9-1 this season when Washington scores seven points or more in a game. Last game was the first time that they won a game where he didn't score at least seven points. Well, he's three away, and he only averages 5.8 a game. He's got four points in one minute. So if you start calculating how many points per minute he could get if you keep him in the game, you know, he's up for a big night. Hofstra showing a little pressure here off the inbound. And Washington, who they believe might be the best on-ball defender in the entire conference, takes on Trey Moss. Out. Stops on a dime in the lane. Here's Dorsey. Count the bucket. Four-point play coming. 
Morrissey was really deep on that one. And, you know, Tyler Thomas comes out to try to distract on, on the block. And you just catch him on the side. And, you know, we're right here in front. And, well, you know what? You didn't get him with the hand. I think you got him more with the body. I want to give a big shout out to Athletic Communication over at William & Mary. This is a stat they actually have in their notes. Four point plays. Gabe Dorsey has one already this season, but both times now he's missed the four point play. Yeah, that's a, that is a good stat. Doesn't happen very often. Go back to single digits. Here's Carlos. Drives inside. Washington again, up and under, no. How denied him right at the rim. Long three from Dorsey. That one goes. Well, you know, we said in the open that this young man can knock down the three, and he's averaging over three made three-pointers per game, and he's there. He has all 15 points for William & Mary in this game, all from the three ball. Tyler Thomas got fouled in the act of shooting, so Let's shoot a couple. Take a look at this one again. And it's amazing what the three-point shot has done. I mean, it just brings you right back into games. And, you know, you see Speedy Claxton on the side yelling at his team on every time he touches the ball. There needs to be a hand in his face. And very frustrating as a coach when he gets that open look. Tyler sinks the first one. Good free throw shooter. 86% on the season. As they give Lowe his second personal foul. And two for two. So first two points for Thomas in this game. And it comes with a little more than seven minutes to go in the first. Moss to Dorsey. And has been their entire offense today. The rest of the team shooting just one of 16. Here's a real tough shot. That Dubar comes away with a rebound for. Thomas in the far corner. Here's Tyler in the lane this time. Shot altered by about three different defenders around him. Scott, do you think at that point that's just because the shot's not falling from deep? Well, you know, you're, you're trying to get something going and trying to score over three defenders is always very difficult. No good hustle there by Case. Earns another three from Cape Dorsey. Boy, what a first half for him. Hey, when you're a streak shooter and you're, you're on fire, you're, he doesn't want halftime to come. And this will be a backcourt violation. So William and Mary storming back here, and they're only down five. Correction before, it was Williams actually had their first three, but he has scored their last 15 points. That's 15 of 18 points, Gabe Dorsey. Yeah, and that, that's the frustration you see on, on Speedy Claxton's face. Played at Vanderbilt in 2022, and last year joined the tribe as Dane Fisher brought him over. Five on the shot clock. Case with three, Williams. He chucks up a three-pointer that swirls in. I think they're gonna check it if it was a shot clock violation or not. That's gonna be a close one there. We'll take a look. I think he might have got it under the wire. Don't know. It's hard to see the... Call was no basket on the floor. And it's tough to see there because if it comes on the release. Yeah. We'll have to see what kind of angle they have. And if so, that brings it just back to a two-point game, Scott. And that's something that Speedy Clax did not be happy with. They haven't scored in the last 242. And so the referee's saying just, on, just missed it. So, you know, good, good job by the officials and taking another look at it. 
Yep, and the officials are correct. A good call that was by a good angle. Good angle right there. Real good call by the baseline official there. So five and a half to play here in the first. Five point basketball game. Pride have gotten cold from the floor. Carlos for three. No good. And Dorsey with the rebound. Fine Williams, the big sophomore shooter. Dorsey with the last 15 and another three more. 18 straight points here in the first half for Gabe Dorsey. And when you are feeling it, you just want the ball on every possession. It's just a two point field goal, but that is still a big bucket. Catch and shoot from Carlos, and he responds with a three. Yeah, he's a guy you want to get the ball in his hands. And, you know, he, on three occasions, he's, he's taken 15 three point attempts. So he's not afraid to put it up. They got an off-ball foul here. It'll go against Carlos. And Carlos does a nice job setting up. And you know, this is what I liked about Hofstra here. They got the ball on the ball reversal, got some more touches before they took that three. And sometimes that's all it takes to get your rhythm going. Pride jumped out to a real quick lead. But Gabe Dorsey has been putting on an absolute clinic. Tiptoeing on the baseline as Mawson turns it over. Carlos, three on two the other way. JC, here's Tyler Thomas. No basket, gave an offensive foul to Carlos. Well, obviously the ball didn't go in, but it wouldn't have counted for the shot anyway. As Ty Hamilton checks in. For William and Mary, the big 6'10 freshman. He's got a good battle there with Fritz. Here's Hamilton with four minutes to go in the first. Washington all over Moss. Caleb Dorsey now. Hamilton with seven. With five. Here's Gabe Dorsey. Another three on its way and off the mark. Tyler Thomas slowing it down here for Hofstra, something you don't see very often. Fritz back to Tyler. Thomas, the extra pass. Dubar to the basket with contact, no. Bounces around a few times, and Caleb Dorsey earns the rebound. This has been one of the Achilles heels for Hofstra is, is the rebounding end. They've been out-rebounded by three or four each game for the season and you know that's something that you, you know, when you take a lot of threes your rebounding is going to be a little less. No, well, it's just a six point game here late in the first half. Tyler Thomas and company but Dorsey has been getting them right back in it for the Tribe.
It has been a good one here at the MAC this Thursday evening. It's live to social, so many people watching here on Flow Hoops. Thanks so much for joining us wherever you're watching on your smartphone, tablet, of course, social media, which is really awesome to see. And Hofstra up by six now, and it hasn't been great the last couple of minutes. A big reason why is Gabe Dorsey, who has 17 of the 20 points. Uh, he, he's been on fire. I mean, you, you talk about anywhere on the court, you know, he's, he's knocking them down. He's shooting, he's playing with a lot of confidence right now. And, you know, this game I know is a, is a little too close for comfort, you know, for the pride, but, you know, they're, they're just struggling a little bit from the outside. And that's uh, not typical of this Hofstra deep offense. They're usually a good three-point shooting team. And I think at the half, they'll regroup and, uh, and then they'll come out strong. But they got to finish this three minutes. Well, Dorsey will stay on the bench to start the last 3-10 of the half. Moss quickly there, good help defense, but gets the pass off. Instead, denied by Fritz underneath as Case attempted it. Dubar to Carlos. The best in nation in terms of assist per game, 14th in the, in the entire country and leading the conference. Thomas, the fadeaway, it goes. I think that's the one that Thomas needed to really get himself going. Only his first field goal of the contest started 0 of his first five. So rare to see the seventh leading scorer in the country. Caleb Dorsey with five on the shot clock. Gets it off to Hamilton. The left hand, no, the put back goes. Ty Hamilton's a nice story. Played basketball at four years old, always the tallest, and then around fifth grade switched to that forward role because he was so big. Didn't play competitive ball again until late in high school. So only played two years of high school ball. As Yako Fritz inside, and they're going to get a travel violation on him. A couple of shooters coming out. Charlie Williams and Gabe Dorsey. The only two guys other than Ty Hamilton who have scored in this game for William & Mary. Look, they're putting Tyler Thomas on Dorsey and trying, he's not, they're trying not to allow him breathing. Big strong frame at 6'6", 215. Williams will back down Fritz and offensive foul. Great job stepping in and throwing that charge. And you know, anytime you lower that shoulder, did it once, did it twice, and finally they got it on the third time. So under 90 seconds to play here in the first. After up six. Thomas to Dubar. He's got nine already. Dubar. Here's Tyler for three. Off the mark. Dubar the offensive board. Nearly knocked out. Kept in by the Tribe. And they'll have the ball here with a minute to go. And timeout called by William & Mary. Uh, use it or lose it with 60 seconds left. That's a wise move. You regroup, you get yourself started, you, you try to cut into this deficit. Going into the half. Well, if you're Speedy Claxton, obviously you like the start you're having. You like some of the uh, different moments throughout this first half. But telling your team going to the halftime break at this point. Well, I think you gotta you gotta get a stop here. You gotta play some good defense. You've been playing good defense this whole half. I mean you you only allowed 22 points. Unfortunately the bulk of the points are coming from one person. So you know I, I, I think you know from a defensive standpoint their rotations are good. You know they didn't they didn't shoot the ball you know specifically well this first half. You know, that's something that'll come to him. But if you go into the halftime, you know, with a six-point lead, eight-point lead, you know, you're doing pretty good knowing that you're not shooting the ball very well. 
William & Mary basketball. Under a minute to go in this first. Pride have led the entire way. Dubar after the steal. Carlos calling orders. Tyler Thomas. Washington. Carlos and Fritz. Everyone getting a touch on this set. Here's Tyler. Spins, loses control in the lane. And it's a held ball possession tribe. The timer will be off here and William & Mary can bring it back potentially to a one possession game going into the break. And floor's been a little sticky today. It's a little warmer outside. It's got you know, 20 degrees this past weekend, now almost 60 today with some rain. That's wild northeast weather for you. That's the way it is. Everybody, everybody's sick in the northeast right now. <laughs> Doctors like this change of weather. You know who doesn't? Teachers. Ah, teachers definitely don't. Builds up your immune system. Moss to the Hofstra logo. With 20 seconds. And Dorsey on a screen up high. Here's Moss. Williams calling for it. Sends him to his right. Seven seconds. Moss inside. Here's Dorsey. Comes up short. Three seconds. Thomas with one from half court. Good look. And just comes up short. A good chance there for Tyler Thomas, who is now at 1,995 points going into the halftime break. The Player of the Half report brought to you by Island Federal Credit Union, and it's Bryce Washington, his big minutes off the bench. Well, you know what, in that first minute, he was able to come in, throw down the dunk, and then make the nice move to the basket to keep Hofstra ahead. So it's a six-point lead for Hofstra here at halftime. We'll come back, we'll get ready for the second half of action. Don't go anywhere, only on Flow Hoops. Welcome to Hofstra University, where campers have access to all of the world-class resources offered to our college students. We are located on a beautiful 240-acre campus, which includes buildings suitable for academics, the arts, and athletics that are shared by people from around the globe. Campers get first-class instruction from college professors, learn at our Saltzman Education Center, and utilize state-of-the-art labs in addition, athletic activity is centered around our Division I coaches and facilities. Our employees are all carefully trained and thoroughly vetted through a comprehensive background check. We are busy preparing for traditional Hofstra summer camp experience, but please know we go above and beyond all health and safety protocols to keep you and your family safe. We are continually preparing and are ready for the changing state of public health. This is Terry Ryan, the camp director at Hofstra Summer Camps. Our summer camp program goes from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., four sessions, seven weeks. Includes transportation and a hot catered lunch buffet. We offer three different models for the camp. We offer a specialty camp, a learning institute, and the overpopular sports academy. The famous David S. Mack Sports and Exhibition Complex, also known as the Hofstra Arena. Connected to the Hofstra Arena is the Physical Education Building. Physical Education Building and the Arena are the main hub. It's the area where they get picked up and they get dropped off. All the facilities here at Hofstra, the softball field, the stadium across the street, the Division I University level fields are used by your camper. Also out here, we do our special days, one of the highlights of summer camp. In the past, we've had carnivals set up, we've had crazy water relays, we've had DJ parties outside, and also color wars. It's just a great place for the children to get out in the green, run around, and enjoy some fun. Hofstra USA is our premier dining facility for the Hofstra summer camps. There are numerous rooms inside for the campers to eat. All food is expertly prepared by our catering service right here on campus. Also, our nurses monitor any food allergies. We're able to take control of that and make sure that your child gets the food they need. At Hofstra summer camps, we are very lucky to be around some of the finest facilities in the world. We have science labs, we have computers, 
We have beautiful classrooms. All the students that come to Hofstra as campers get to experience Red Cross certified swim instruction each day. Also note, we follow all the strict guidelines of the American Camping Association and also the Nassau County Board of Health. We are fully staffed with water safety instructors and also the Hofstra lifeguards stay on duty all summer to protect your child and make it a safe environment. If you would like further information, we can be reached at 516-463-CAMP. Send us any questions you may have at ce-camps at hofstra.edu. Hi, I'm Chris, and I'm here to talk about Island Federal Credit Union. And I'm Bob from National Big Bank. Island Federal has been providing personal banking services for over 65 years and donated over a million dollars to Long Island-based charities. Nobody loves Long Island more than National Big Bank. We're fully committed to Patch Howe, Hop Howe, uh, Wan Chung, uh, Ronco, Renair, no, okay, no, wait, that's not real. You're messing with me now. Island Federal, you can bank on the power of F. Welcome to Bike House Chevy of Valley Stream, your trusted family-owned dealership deeply rooted in our community. At Bike House Chevy, we take immense pride in being part of our community and are dedicated to providing not just an exceptional car buying experience, but also giving back to the neighborhoods we serve. Whether you're looking for a brand new Chevy or a reliable pre-owned vehicle, we're here to serve you. Come and visit us at 709 West Merrick Road, Valley Stream, New York. In the next 30 seconds, a lot will happen at Hofstra. Small things, big things, weird things. The plan and the not so much. The whoa, the wow, the what? We know ideas have the power to change everything. That's why we work for them. Reach for them, refine and rebuild. Ideas are always evolving and so are we. Hofstra University. Transfer to Hofstra University for a dynamic college experience. Shape your own educational and career path by choosing from over 165 undergraduate programs in a variety of disciplines. Connect with the world through experiential learning, including internship opportunities in nearby Manhattan. Work in cutting edge facilities and research labs. Attend a virtual transfer event to find out how you can be part of the Hofstra Pride. The State Farm Personal Price Plan helps you create an affordable price just for you. Contact local agent Adam Makula in Albertson for your personal price plan today.
Brooklyn Dip and Burger is open for takeout and delivery. Call the store and check us out on Uber Eats, DoorDash, and Grubhub. We are here for you, and you can rely on Brooklyn Dip and Burger, providing great food safely. 516-222-8000. A university-based camp provides campers with a world of opportunity. At Hofstra Summer Camps, campers in kindergarten through high school can explore their passions, find their creative side, or learn from Division I coaches in over 50 different camps, taught by New York State teachers or professionals. Campers will make friends and memories to last a lifetime while enjoying a summer that is completely unique to them. Your child's amazing summer experience starts at Hofstra Summer Camps. Hofstra Hillow means to me family, community, Hip opportunities, people, a home away from home, tradition, connections, religion, and friendship. For 75 years, Hofstra Hillow, the Center for Jewish Life on Campus, has been serving the Hofstra community. Thousands of students of all backgrounds have participated in our weekly classes, travel programs, service projects, and holiday celebrations. Especially now, when students need us most, please support Hofstra Hillow. Go to HofstraHillel.org for more information. Transfer to Hofstra University for a dynamic college experience. Shape your own educational and career path by choosing from over 165 undergraduate programs in a variety of disciplines. Connect with the world through experiential learning, including internship opportunities in nearby Manhattan. Work in cutting-edge facilities and research labs. Attend a virtual transfer event to find out how you can be part of the Hofstra Pride. Hi, I'm Chris, and I'm here to talk about Island Federal Credit Union. And I'm Bob from National Big Bank. Island Federal has been providing personal banking services for over 65 years and donated over a million dollars to Long Island-based charities. Nobody loves Long Island more than National Big Bank. We're fully committed to Patch Out, Hop Out, uh, Wantung, uh, Ronco, Renair, no, okay, no, wait, that's not real. You're messing with me now. Island Federal, you can bank on the power of F. CAA basketball here on Flow Hoop. Six point game as we get ready to start the second half of action from Hofstra University. 28 to 22, the score through the first 20 minutes. And we welcome you here, table side, Dan Savarino alongside Scott Green. Uh, this really I was a crazy first half that a lot of scoring early on there, Scott, but this is really something that's been working for Hofstra is really their defense, their, their offense, but Gabe Dorsey's been doing on the other end. Well, it's been about Gabe Dorsey. I mean, he has a guy that's shooting 40% from three-point on the season, with definitely going up after this first half. He's been able to knock down threes from the entire court at one point. He had 15 of their 18 points, and he just lets it go. Tough lefty from range. When you have that much confidence, you're tough to stop, but for Hofstra, they were able to get some plays going early. Fritz was able to get inside on a good pass, and then Dubar really showing his moves to the basket with a nice finish, and he was able to do it from the outside and inside, and able to show his passing ability, making a nice pass out <coughs> to Blakovic and knocking down a big shot. Everyone's starting to get involved a little bit, and then how about getting out off the bench is Bryce Washington. Now that was about 10 seconds into the game and being able to finish the play. And the bench has been terrific for Hofstra. That's something they obviously need going forward for this group. Well, Tyler Thomas only has five points. And if you look at Easton Dubar, he's got nine, which leads this group. And the team's not shooting that well right now here in this first half. How does that change in the second? Well, neither team is shooting well, but they're taking good shots. And you know, when you're a coach and, and you're not shooting well, but you're taking good shots, you have to be patient say, hey, you know what, they're going to fall sooner or later. They keep using their bench, they keep moving the basketball, running their offensive sets, and they're going to be fine. Well, the Pride only up by six here in the second half, looking for their fourth win in conference play in third straight game. You look at that three-point field goal percentage, three of 13. This is a team that's top 10 and makes per game in the entire nation. Plus one on the glass for William and Mary. Again, not Hofstra's strength, but 
Knocking down six triples, that is the big difference maker for the Tribe in this one. And those would be the two numbers you would think would be reversed. Typically Hofstra around that six for 15 range, but they are reversed. William and Mary shooting well right now, as, as goes Gabe Dorsey. Gonna be a great second half, Dan. Well, Hofstra has 14 of their 28 points. Exactly half of their points are in the paint, sponsored by Sherwin-Williams. One guy has been getting points in the paint. It actually has been D-Stone Dubar. Yeah, Dubar's been terrific. He got the game started early, and, you know, if they're going to want to get and improve this lead, they got to get the ball back into Dubar's hands. They go to Thomas. Quick catch and shoot. And bounces around the cylinder twice, does not fall. 0 of 7 from downtown for Tyler Thomas. His last two, 1 of 13 from beyond the perimeter, his worst back-to-back -back shooting games since an 0 for 6 combined last year, early on in the season against St. Mary's and Middle Tennessee. This is one of his worst stretches in terms of shooting the basketball from deep. But he's a volume shooter. He's going to keep putting them up there, no doubt. And Hofstra has led for the first 20 minutes. Plotnikov on Love. And they connect, so only down by four. They're showing a lot of patience on the offensive end. And William and Mary comes out with the quick deuce. Here's German, had to go to the bench with two personal fouls. Dubar, it's the help defense, dives to the floor, it's Caleb Dorsey comes away with it and pushes ahead to his brother. Quick three ball on the way, no good. He was five of eight from downtown in the first half. Thomas, meanwhile, one of nine from the floor. Carlos, pump fake. Thomas, Plotnikoff, little jump pass, wide open. Here's JC from the corner. And I like playing the inside out. You get inside the paint, you draw defenders, and then you kick out to the shooters. Carlos coming off a career high game out in Suffolk County at Stony Brook. And this is just a great job. When you get inside, Plotnikoff was able to recognize outside and being able to hit Jaquan Carlos. He had 23 on Monday night, and 18 of those in the second half. Seven point game as Moss tries to cut into the deficit. He does with a quick deuce, his first two points. Not a lot of scoring for this William & Mary squad. Again, they really haven't anchored by Dorsey as Tyler Thomas connects on his first three in eight attempts. And that's the bucket he needed to be able to shoot that one from downtown. A good shooter keeps shooting. Up to seven points now. And <laughs> gonna get a double dribble. Speedy Claxton is almost at mid-court <laughs> calling it. And they said, all right, we got it, Speedy. Well, this is just great defense. Well, here's the jump shot. Talk about all the confidence and putting down the net. But, man, on the defensive side of the ball, I just love how Fritz steps up and, and takes away and forces a turnover. But I think Speedy made that call at midcourt. Fritz puts it on the deck. Here's Yako to the cup. Nice move by Yako Fritz. It's nice when you have a 6'10 guy that can penetrate like that. Williams to the basket now, and he finishes at the left block. A strong move by Williams. Charlie Williams playing well. You see most of his shots come from downtown. Carlos tries a quick pass inside. It actually lands right in the hands of Plotnikov. Not how they drew it up, but it works. Oh, an assist is an assist, right? Pride have connected on their last four field goals. Williams, the response rattles out. Dorsey's there, bounces around. Plotnikov got a piece of it. Last touched off of the Tribe. 
And it'll be a wholesale change upcoming for Dane Fisher. So down 10, with three new guys out there. And Hofstra outscoring the try by four to start this half. Thomas thought about the three. Out was right on him. There's Thomas. The turnaround, 2K for Tyler Thomas. His 2,000th career point. And what a tremendous milestone for Tyler Thomas. Congratulations to him. Tyler one away from 1,000 in his Hofstra career. He becomes the seventh active player in Division I basketball to have 2,000 career points. What a shot right there by Dorsey. And he, he just puts it right over Platnikov. He just couldn't believe it. Thomas trying to respond once again. The tribe down by nine. Wide well, open look there for Moss. It comes up short. Thomas with nine points on three of 12 shooting. Carlos just keeps it in. I think he's got good ups. As Fritz instead goes to Thomas. Tyler, Dubar with the three from the corner. Time out, Tribe. Hofstra up by 12, and that guy has 2,000 career points in his collegiate career. And doing it, it the way he always does. Right there, 2,000 for Tyler Thomas. Hofstra extending their lead. Brooklyn Dip and Burger is open for takeout and delivery. Call the store and check us out on Uber Eats, DoorDash, and Grubhub. We are here for you, and you can rely on Brooklyn Dip and Burger, providing great food safely. 516-222-8000. Welcome to Buy Cal Chevy of Valley Stream, a family-owned dealership dedicated to providing an exceptional car buying experience. Our knowledgeable and friendly staff are committed to building strong customer relationships and ensuring your needs are met efficiently. We understand that your time is precious, so we've streamlined our process to make your visit efficient and enjoyable. Come visit us today at 709 West Merrick Road, Valley Stream, New York. Hofstra Hillel means to me family, community, of opportunities, people, a home away from home, tradition, connections, religion, friendship. For 75 years, Hofstra Hillel, the Center for Jewish Life on Campus, has been serving the Hofstra community. Thousands of students of all backgrounds have participated in our weekly classes, travel programs, service projects, and holiday celebrations. Especially now, when students need us most, please support Hofstra Hillel. Go to HofstraHillel.org for more information. Hofstra up by 12 early on in the second half. Starting to get some shots going. And Tyler Thomas, one of the reasons why, get some shots going for him. And that, that's pretty important. You know it definitely has been on his mind at some point. And now he's hit that 2,000-point milestone. He's one away from 1,000 points in his Hofstra career and doing it the way he always does. You know, you know, when you're thinking about it, the whole first half and how he comes out and just relaxes and lets the game come to him. And, you know, I mean, he, here's a guy that can give you the lift that you really need. What a milestone. That is a lot of points in a college career. Born in the Barbados, started learning basketball at eight years old, a hoop in the backyard. Started his collegiate career at Sacred Heart, led the team in scoring a bunch Averaged 16 a game in 2021, 19 a game in 2020, third team selection. Came to Hofstra last year, second team in the conference. And this year he has been the guy, top 10 most of the season in the entire nation in scoring. Coming into today with seven, uh, top seventh nationally in points per game. Dubar. 
Health defense comes. It's the extra pass. Here's Plotnikov from the corner. And that's just great ball movement. Good things happen when you reverse the basketball. G up to seven points and his third collegiate start. It's a guy who started at the Juco level board in Belarus and said this first game that got absolutely blown out. He said, Juco, oh, this is going to be easy. A couple of them out in their first game, and he realized, oh, my goodness, these guys are good. Yeah, absolutely. No fan favor here at Hofstra the last couple of years. 15-point lead now for Hofstra, a 6-0 run over the last minute. Fritz sets the screen. They get Dubar down low. He's had a very quiet 12. Here he misses on the chance right under the hoop. Williams slings a pass out of bounds. A miscommunication on that pass to underneath. So it's a 15-point lead. 6-0 run for the Pride over the last minute and a half. They're up over William and Mary. Stay tuned for more. National champions once again. Hofstra University dance team down in Florida last week. Congratulations to them. Always coming home with gold, that group. Yeah, all the sports here at Hofstra, you just do a wonderful job. Great programs here. And credit to Rick Cole, the athletic director, and what he's done here at Hofstra University. Well, the pride with a win. It would put a bunch of teams up there with four. You're just one game back. This has really been a jammed pack schedule in the way things have been kind of falling out. Drexel has been an, obviously a, a remarkable story what Zach Spiker has done with his group. Seven straight wins coming into tonight. But then you got Towson, Charleston, uh, UNCW, NCA and T all with four wins. Campbell has four wins. Delaware, Hofstra, they got three wins. Monmouth, Northwest, uh, Northeastern have three wins. It's just really a wide open conference once again, and it always comes down, it seems, to who's that best team's got in those three days in March. Well, Gabe Dorsey wants to try to make William & Mary one of those teams because he's been on fire tonight. But yeah, this, co this conference is, is really, has a lot of parity. You know, you can't just show up on any given night regardless of a record. There's Thomas, and now he's got a 1,000 in his Hofstra career. 42nd player to do so. So 2,002 points in his collegiate career and 1,001 in his Hofstra career. Foul's going to go here against Hamilton. Now you mentioned Drexel before, and if we take a look at this shot, just Nice strong move by Tyler Thomas, but 
at Drexel Ball Club, 7-0. Oh, they're uh, off to a best start since they've been in the in the CAA, and Zach Spiker's done a great job with that program. Carlos with three around him, gets it to Fritz in traffic and finishes with the right. And William & Mary has to find a way to, to really defend Fritz in the paint, because when he catches the ball, then they allow him to square his shoulders to the basket. He's not gonna miss many. Something the Hofter coaching staff has said, especially during that two game skid, was we gotta get the ball inside more. Get some more paint touches. As Thomas sprints ahead. Thomas, wide open. Here is Plotnikov, and he misses. Good hustle by Fritz, but ball goes right back to the Tribe. Very unselfish basketball of the Pride. Good take to the basket by Moss. Team's leading score coming off a 17-point game. Another one of those transfers coming in from South Florida. Played two years there. Thomas pulls up from the left elbow and off the mark. And deficit 14 here for the Tribe. Dorsey. No good. He's kind of cooled off a bit, but in two meetings all time against Ostra as Hamilton blocks Dubar underneath. We'll talk more about that with Dorsey when we come back. Tyler Thomas getting going. 11 points for him, including 1,000 in the blue and gold. Welcome to Bike House Chevy of Valley Stream your trusted family-owned dealership deeply rooted in our community. At Bike House Chevy, we take immense pride in being part of our community and are dedicated to providing not just an exceptional car buying experience, but also giving back to the neighborhoods we serve. Whether you're looking for a brand new Chevy or a reliable pre-owned vehicle, we're here to serve you. Come and visit us at 709 West Merrick Road, Valley Stream, New York. Transfer to Hofstra University for a dynamic college experience. Shape your own educational and career path by choosing from over 165 undergraduate programs in a variety of disciplines. Connect with the world through experiential learning, including internship opportunities in nearby Manhattan. Work in cutting edge facilities and research labs. Attend a virtual transfer event to find out how you can be part of the Hofstra Pride. The State Farm Personal Price Plan helps you create an affordable price just for you. Contact local agent Adam Akula in Albertson for your personal price plan today. Today's State Farm agent of the game is Adam Akula. Visit Adam in Albert City to get a quote for your auto, renters, and life insurance needs. Well, Tyler Thomas uh, had some struggles for Tyler Thomas standards, we should say, Scott. But now he's got 2,000 career points. He's got 1,000 for Hofstra. It's one of those things that he's kind of been there, and now you kind of just play some basketball. Let's get out there. Let's, let's get going again. Well, you know, I mean, obviously he, you, you want to see a guy like that get his records, but, you know, I mean, he's also a guy that wants to make sure that they get their third win, and, you know, this was a six-point game at half, you know, and obviously whatever Speedy Platt's doing discussed at halftime has worked, and, and there he is, Tyler Thomas, 1,001 career, and that's just at Hofstra. And about a year and a half, Eastone Dubar joining the 1,000-point club. He was the 41st member. That happened a couple of weeks ago. Inbound plays have been a strength for Hofstra. Here's Thomas, catch and shoot, and misses on the three. Just one of 10 from downtown Scott, which is so rare also considering he leads the entire nation in three-point field goals made per game. Well, some days it's just uh, it's not there. And low with a good runner inside. 
Tough move in traffic, off balance. Chase Lowe has been their leading scorer in six games this year. After averaging three a game, mostly off the bench last year. Skip pass and on the bounce, it's Washington inside to Sunday, but turns it over. Chase Lowe, wide open. Here is Caleb Dorsey. Misses from the right wing. Good hustle here from Washington, kept in by Case, who takes a hard spill towards the sideline. Seems to be all right. With 12 on the shot clock. Moss puts on the brakes, no look pass. Williams for three, it's short. Long rebound, Sunday almost has it. Back to Moss and a fresh 20. Dorsey again, this time it goes. He's got a little bit to, to try to catch his brother tonight. <laughs> That's his first three today. While his younger brother gave us 23. Thomas for three, off the mark. Is there anything you're seeing in that shot right now? Uh, I just He just looks like he's pressing too much. And, you know, when things don't go well, you start to overthink your shot. And I think that's exactly what he's doing right now. Very, you become very tight. And you got to establish that rhythm. Williams against Sunday. It's short, the left hand. Nice D from Silas. And Tyler in this nine-point game. Drives down the right lane. Washington wide open in the corner, and that goes. Bryce Washington once again, he's got seven. And you know that stat you talked about with seven points. I mean, you know, when he comes to the game, he's just automatic lift. Nine and one, Hofstra is when he scores at least seven points in a game. And they're winning against Stony Brook. This is the first time that's happened where they still won. That's just a terrific stat you got there. That's all Jerry Beach. Got to give it to him. Dorsey. Oh. Off the mark. The putback. And it's going to be a foul against the Tribe here. They'll get Case. Bryce Washington, you know, he comes off the bench. And talk about a good, good setup here from the corner. Yeah, so we've seen now Bryce Washington with a, 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 a beautiful dunk in transition. We saw him with a great move, slash move to the baseline for a basket. And now you've seen a, a one from the outside. So he kind of does a little bit of everything. Pride lead back up to 12. Fritz inside, but that was airmail. It's right to Hamilton. Ty Hamilton with the steal. Low, and they're going to get, you think, Yako or? No, they're going to go with Jaquan Carlos, his second. Take a look, and yeah, I got to agree with him there. Not a lot of free throws in this game. This is only the second attempt for William and & Mary, and that was a four-point play opportunity that was missed. Chase Lowy, just a hair under 70%. Well, had three points against Drexel, but double figures in every other game of conference play. Sitting on just three today. Thomas, amongst the trees, gets the ball back, though. It's Carlos here who will control it. Carlos. Up and under looking for Dubar. He's doing only three points in the second half. And nine in the first. Base low with 10. Gets the double team. Fritz is there. Nearly stolen away by Dubar. And they'll get Yako Fritz on the foul. Well, you always say don't leave your feet. It's exactly what he did there, Scott. So it's an 11-point lead for Hofstra. We'll be right back. Plenty to come here in the second half.
on Flow Hoops. Some Thursday night hoops here on Long Island. 53-42 lead for Hofstra. Man's coming out. Enjoy this Thursday night game. Get some happy fans. Well, for Hofstra here, it's barely been run, Scott. And you've seen the runs where it's worked out positively for them. And then they've kind of gotten into these cold stretches. This is one of those cold stretches in this game, one of their last eight. Yeah, no, no question about it. You know what they what they have been able to do is they've been able to respond, and you know, and that's what we talked about in the beginning of the game. You know, when you have the ability as a team to to, to develop that identity, and I keep using that word because that's what this team has shown. They may not have shot extremely well in that first half, and now they're kind of going through a little bit of that bull right now. But this team has really got a good rotation. Caleb Dorsey at the stripe, shooting a pair. 33 games for Penn State in three years, nine starts. Already has more points, rebounds, and field goals this season than he did in the prior three combined. That struggle, though, just six points over his last two games. He's below his season average of seven. So cuts the deficit back to single digits. Tribe have not actually had a field goal in almost three minutes. Thomas to Plotnikov. Up and under German. Plotnikov has 12. That's a nice strong move to the basket. His second double figure game of the season. Helped the response off the mark. And Fritz brings in his eighth board. Plotnikov, two away from tying his career high. Had 14 last year against Stony Brook. Dubar, and that quiet second half. You can't say enough about what D-Stone Dubar has meant to this team, though. He's one of only three players, Scott, in the entire country to average at least 19 points a game, at least seven rebounds per game, and hit at least two triples a game. That's a pretty impressive statistics. And he plays very good defense, too, to boot. I mean, you, you add that to the mix. Bet inside, Fritz comes away with it. Carlos, Plotnikov gets his man going, takes it to the cup, and finishes. 14 for Plotnikov. It's just a nice move. Just a little ball fake. For the kids watching at home, and you know, you teach those fundamentals. Putting the little ball fake will get your man up in the air and allow you to get to the basket. So Plotnikov who has been in double figures now two of the three games he's started in. 
Really found himself a nice role here in the starting lineup. Played a career high 38 minutes in that Stony Brook game. Dorsey just continues on with what he's doing. He now has 15 three-pointers against Hofstra in two meetings in his career. Yeah. You know, that's what we talk about with confidence. You know, you, when you had a good game previously, you, you can't wait to get back and play him again. Low, extra pass. Here's Caleb Dorsey. Still has time to shoot after mishandling it. Offensive rebound for them. Thomas hits the deck, gets the ball off to Jaquan Carlos, who speeds up ahead to the front court. Well, you can just imagine the Dorsey brothers uh, in their backyard growing up and what those games must have been like. This is not a very typical Hofstra game in terms of scoring. It's a group that averages about 76 a contest. Thomas from the top of the arc, no good. Looks for that loose ball, tapped around, stayed right back, and that's a smart play to just take off some more time here. With five. I don't know if they realize the shot clock. That one comes short. Put back attempt from Dubar is not there, but another fresh 20. Those are some big offensive rebounds for Hofstra, and the fans love it. And they're going to get a travel. But still, Scott, that kills off about 40-plus seconds, over a minute, really, in terms of the possession. So Hofstra leads by 10 with under four to go. Ryan looking to come away with their fourth conference win. Stay tuned. It's a 10-point lead for Hofstra, under four minutes to go. Some of the big milestones in this game, Scott, you got Tyler Thomas reaches 2,000 points. You have Gabe Dorsey, 8 of 13 from downtown and 26 points. 10-point game, how do they still come back to Tribe? Well, I think Tribe, you got to get the ball back in Dorsey's hands. you got to find a way to free him up for another three. He's obviously had the hot hand today, uh, even his brother. You know, look to try to get the ball in their hands and get some good looks. For Hofstra, it's about taking their time. Not playing, you know, to, to stall, but you do want to get good looks every time down. You don't need to rush bad shots, but you also don't want to take it down and have a four shot at the, you know, close to the, the you know, the violation time. It is try basketball. And they get Williams. Lowe, who has had a quiet night, just one of three. Most of the Tri players have had a quiet night, scoring just 47 points, except for this guy, Dorsey. 
and was willed them back. Low with the sky hook in the right hand. It goes. So Chase Low brings it back to single digits again with three and a half to play. That's a tough shot. You got to put it over a 6'10 guy. Carlos underneath. Dubar. Easy two for him. And those are the high percentage shots Hofstra wants right now in the in the final few minutes. And you know, when you get the ball inside to Dubar in that type of position, you know, you're looking at high percentage shots. Low against Plotnikov, gets a step on him and finishes underneath the basket. So he's got their last four. Tyler Thomas ties his shoe <laughs> before they make it up the floor. It's been a different kind of game for the Pride. Talk so much about finding ways to win games when the three ball's not falling. Well, they've hit eight threes in this game. Not a lot of points on the board for them. Dubar from the corner, that's too strong. And they average over 10 makes per game. So they're not far off that mark. Something this coaching staff was talking about as a travel violation gives it right back to Hofstra. Something the staff really spoke about, especially after the two losses, was self-scouting. Where do we need to make changes? But more importantly for them, it, it was about maybe we need to have their defense feed our offense, not our offense feed our defense like in years past. Yeah, and that's always something you have in practice too. You, you know, when you have a part of the coaching staff coaching the defense and part of it on the offense, you know, you want competition. You want them to be able to compete against one another. But, you know, when the offense makes a great play, how do you chastise the defense? And that's just the way it's always been, you know, especially when you come out against oppositions, you know. But this is a position where you want your offense to play and, and get good looks. Dubar with one, and it's going to be short shot clock violation. Kurtz wanted a foul there. Well, she would not get. Eight-point game, minute 40 to go. 140 to go. This game is far from over right now. Both teams, two team fouls here in the second half. It's been a very clean second half. We've only had eight free throw attempts between the two groups in this entire game. Whoa. And they're going to get a held ball here, which gives William & Mary the possession. So 15 on the shot clock. And it's a real important possession here for the Tribe. Bring Williams back on the floor, 33. Kick ball. That gives another five on the timer. All five starters out there for Hofstra. Late in this game. Here's Dorsey. A three rattles out. The rebound. Moss misses underneath. Fighting with his own teammate. There's Low. No good himself. And Jaquan Carlos comes away with the rock. Those are some missed opportunities for William and Mary. They got great little bunnies under the basket, and they just could not finish the play. Now, they have a, a bunch of fouls to give if they want. They had four fouls to give still. So if there's any time to try and get a steal or foul and not hurt you, it's here. But a three-possession basketball game with a minute nine to go. Dubar, the inbound. And Thomas gets fouled by Trey Moss. Just off the miss, and you figure here's opportunity number two. That ball should have been finished. And then opportunity number three, a little contested. You know, so you get three chances, you know, within a foot range of the basket. You got to finish those plays. So, team's fifth foul. 
will have one more to give. Moss will take a seat. Dubar. To Carlos. And that's their final foul to give. <clears throat> so this inbound is actually going to be way underneath the hoop. This is Hofstra's second of three games this week. Monday night, tonight, and then Saturday, a trip to New Jersey to take on Monmouth. And they want to be going in there, winners of three straight. Thomas, cross half court, and that's where he gets fouled. So 59 and 7 tenths of a second, and Tyler's going to shoot a one and one. Well, the first thing you want to do if you're William and Mary, you want to go for the steal, try to get the ball you know, before you foul, and then if you don't get it right away, then you got to make that foul. Tyler Thomas, one of the better free throw shooters in the conference, 86% coming into today, uh, today's game. Two of two already, sinks the front end, and he's up to 12 points. And Tyler's numbers, obviously so good, sixth in minutes, rarely comes off the floor. But here he's going to come off the floor to put on a better on-ball defender in Washington. Now, if you're William & Mary, you want to extend this clock as long as possible. And I mean, you don't have to fire a three. You want to come down and get a quick two, if anything. And, you know, here they go. They drive to the basket. Moss in traffic with the right hand. Got Jaco Fritz in the face, who's grabbing towards his mouth. That by our camera, actually. And see if he's, he might be bleeding, actually, towards the mouth. Timeout, Hofstra. Look at this again for Moss. Now well, Moss just able to get to the basket. And, you know, William and Mary, over the last two, three minutes, have done a good job driving the gaps and getting to the basket, something that they weren't doing in the first half. They really were relying on Dave Dorsen's outside shooting. You know, but now they're showing they're able to get to the basket. And Hofstra's not closing up those gaps like they did in the first half. With these second half numbers, it's been a pretty quiet second half, especially over the last few minutes. But in the second half, after shooting five of 12 from downtown, which is pretty good numbers overall. Pretty balanced score, Klotnikov has nine, Thomas has nine, but this doesn't have the same feel over the last few minutes in this contest. After inbounds, and in the bonus are the pride. So one and one. Tyler Thomas back on, heaves a pass to midcourt, nearly picked off, and it stays in the backcourt. They get Plotnikov, who then gets hit up high. Boy, that was really dangerous, Scott. Hofstra easily could have turned off the ball there. Yeah, and they had, they had two seconds left to get the ball over the midcourt line. So a couple big free throws coming up here. And it's Plotnikov who will take the free throws. Tying a career high right now, 14 points. Hasn't attempted a ton of free throws this season, seven of 11. German missed about a month of the season of the non-conference, got injured right after their trip down to the Gulf Coast Showcase, winning that tournament in November. And then returned for conference play. Though he has a new career high with 15. Thomas comes off once again, a little defense offense sub. And German misses the second. Keeps it at a three possession game. Moss with 40. Moss with the left hand, he's fouled. Well, Moss has done a nice job trying to keep the tribe alive here. And Try to get those quick buckets and you know, starting to run out of some clock here. But you know, good job by Moss. Gets to try to put some points on the board with no time coming off. Didn't even attempt a field goal in the first half. And here he 
misses a real important free throw. Eight points here in the second half. Tribe only scored 22 back in that first half. And again, these are the types of games, Scott, that Hofstra needs to you know, close out and win. As the Tribe keep hanging around. Eight point game, Dubar to Carlos. He'll weave his way around. They don't foul, get it to Thomas at midcourt, and now they'll do it. This is, this is just very good practice now for Hofstra too. You know, trying to close out a game, having the basketball IQ, and you know, they've been struggling to try to get the ball over half court. You gotta credit William and Mary you know, for their ability to, to pressure the ball at the full court like that. Misses the front end. The one and one, keeping it alive still. Moss, still a long hill to climb. Moss heaves up a shot. Williams gets blocked by Plotnikov from behind. Thomas was out of bounds. So ball stays with William Mary, 18.4 on the clock. And they're going to use their timeout here. Well, Speedy Claxton's group, they started quick, slowed down, sped up again, slowed down, sped up again to start of the second half. And for them, really, it's about trying to play a, a complete 40 no matter who they're playing. Yeah, and, that, and that's something that will, you know, will have to come along with them. They still have a long way to go in this season, you know, and then you bring on the, the CA tournament action. But, you know, this is, uh, this, this is a good ball club that has to find ways, you know, to win games. And, you know, right now, 18 seconds left, it's an eight-point game. You're going to have to knock down a few free throws and try to take care of the basketball. But, you know, you got to credit right now uh, Deastone Dubar, what he's doing right now to, Ma uh, to Dorsey, he's picking him up. He's not allowing him to even get a touch. So just a terrific adjustment, you know, by Speedy Claxton and Hofstra to put Dubar on Dorsey, and it's been working so far. 62-54 for the Pride. If it comes away with this number, it would be the fewest points they scored in a win. And it would be the third time this year they held an opponent to under 60 points. Two against D1 opponents. Excuse me. Two against uh, three D1 opponents it would be. Four times in total in St. Joe's in that opener. How about this stat, Dan? They're 106 and 20 in the last 10 years when they hold opponents under 70 points. 30 and 5 under Speedy Claxton. 18 and 4 tenths seconds away from doing so. Moss. Tries the up and under, and nope. He'll end up going to the stripe for two. So Tyler, his second. Can bring it back to a two possession game, and you're out of timeouts. That would be the double bonus. So again, not a great spot for William and Mary, but still an opportunity. Moss has to hit to this one, no question. They're gonna sub Yako Fritz on. And they probably expect Hofstra to Use one of those timeouts. They have three remaining. Moss misses. Fritz is there. Carlos double teamed in his own end. And now gets fouled with six seconds left. That was a big rebound for Fritz. Be able to get the ball, control it. Two free throws upcoming for Hofstra, and it's Jaquan Carlos who will shoot a pair. 92% free throw shooter on the season. J. 
JC now seven points, nine rebounds, six assists, and just three turnovers. And we'll end up playing full 40 minutes once again. It's the second. 64-55, five seconds to go. Moss heaves up a shot from the baseline. It's off the mark. And the Pride win their third straight game. 64-55 the final. Another win against William & Mary. They have won their last four against the Tribe. And the Pride moves to four and three in conference play. You know, every win is a big win in the CAA conference. I mean, this is what parity is. You play against very good teams every night. You don't know who's going to come out on top. While it might not have been the juggernaut of an offensive performance, their defensive performance was so impressive today, holding a team to 55 points. And they'll end up getting a, another tough squad on Saturday as they take on Monmouth. But an important win for the Pride as they come away with a nine-point victory. Yeah, they're going to go out and they're going to play Monmouth this weekend. And King Rice and company in a very, very tough team. And, you know, it's just, a, just another opportunity. And we're going to send it down to the court for Dan Savarino. Officer uniform. Got to get this one out of the way. And just looking back, obviously, on your entire basketball career, how special is this? Uh, I actually didn't know uh, until before the game, but you know, it was a great accomplishment. It's what I dreamed about, and it was cool. We got it at home and also got a win. Uh, it's a, a different kind of win for you guys. Obviously, not a high-scoring win, but it was the defense that really stepped up. What have you guys liked about your defensive effort, especially over the last couple of weeks? Uh, we try to keep guys out the paint. Uh, I think today we did a better job than last game of doing that. Uh, containing off the bounce was the key part of our defense today, and I think we did that. It's group three straight wins, had that little skid, but now back into the winning ways. How has this team kind of turned around since that Hampton win a couple of weeks, well, really last week? Uh, we just rely on our defense. Uh, we're coming out better, better start the last two games, and I think that's really helped us put away teams when we go can't go down by 10 at halftime. 2K Tyler, do you like the nickname? I do like that nickname. I do like it. Got you. Tyler Thomas, congratulations. All right, so Pride come away with a big victory once again. Fourth one in conference play and three consecutive wins. 64-55, the final score here from the MAC. For everyone here at Hofstra University, our entire crew, my broadcast partner, Scott Green. I'm Dan Savarino saying thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you next time.